Hey guys, this is Drag, and today I'll show you how to make an icon of any application you want, a honeycomb icon inside Rainmeter. So first of all what you want to do is go in the honeycomb folders inside Rainmeter. You go to the skin and then open the honeycomb folder and go in resources and click on images. So I've already downloaded uh, an icon png file for valorant and saved it here so you save the image here inside the resources folder and remember the name in which in my case is valor.png then you open rain meter click on the honeycomb drop down and you create click on create new scan here you add a folder name it valorant click on it and then click on add skin so when you click on add skin it should create a dot ina file for you you're gonna name it whatever you want and then open this so there would be this code in it instead of this you will paste this format which i have down in the description and then between these square brackets you'll you can type whatever you want it doesn't make a difference here in image name after the forward slash you're going to type the name of the image that you saved in the resources folder as it is so in my case it is varo.png here you can you have to type in the height and between these square brackets you're going to actually copy the path of the application which you want and paste it here so i'll paste the path of valorant here Click on save. You close this, close this, and then you refresh it. And then you go to the Valorant folder and you load the skin in. So here you can see the skin is loaded in. And sometimes what happens is uh, this image, when you first load it, the icon loads outside the screen. So you can change the coordinate from here. So sometime it won't be visible because the coordinate would be zero and zero here. So when I click on it, my game should start. You can do this for any application that you want. So, as you can see, the game has started in the background. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, you can put them down in the comment and I'll try to reply to them.